The Sumter School District Board held a meeting today and Street Squad's Kaylin Hagwood was there. She joins us now with the details on what they discussed. Kaylin. I'm just outside the Sumter School District. During a finance committee meeting earlier today, district officials discussed the steps they're taking to try to start walking in a positive direction following the fiscal emergency declaration set forth by the State Board of Education. Those state education leaders say legislation requires that Sumter schools be under the fiscal emergency for the remainder of the district's fiscal year. Interim Superintendent Debbie Hamm believes they're making positive steps forward. She says they believe to be within a couple hundred thousand dollars of the fund balance needed to be financially stable. And according to their chief financial officer, Jennifer Miller, a version of the recovery plan needed to get the district's finances back on track has now been approved by state officials. However, they won't have a final budget until after a county council Council meeting tomorrow night. That's because the current recovery plan includes a millage increase, which would provide extra money to help cover mandated teacher salary raises. District officials are hoping the county will approve the extra funds. If not, Miller says they'll have to revisit the budget. And without enough cash to pay the raises, they'll have to come up with an additional $1.2 million in personnel cuts. Were we to not receive the millage increase, one of the things we know we would have to do is go back to our budget and look at places that we can make cuts. And unfortunately, in school districts, about 90% of our budget is in personnel. Of course, we've already made substantial cuts already, trying to achieve the fund balance that's required by the state. So further, in, um, further increases in cuts are likely to result in significant changes in personnel. That county council meeting is tomorrow evening at 530 at the fire training center off McCray's Mill Road. I did reach out to county council chairman James McCain, but he did not want to comment at this time. For Street Squad Sumter, I'm Kaylin Hagwood.